Hi guys, uh, Bart Barnes here with Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. I have my uh, cameraman John Burroughs with us. Today we're taking a look at a new line for us. This is a 199C Pro. Uh, this is actually a 19 foot 9 inch boat, so it's almost 20 foot, so it's a, it's a, it's a big boat feel for what, you, what size package this is. There is a lot of stainless in this boat, so for example, we have uh, pop-up cleats, LED uh, stainless steel uh, nav lights, as well as stainless steel rub rail. We also have uh, stainless steel rod holders in the gunnels as well. And as we're going around, this is a white boat with, uh, what color interior is this again, John? Platinum. This is the platinum interior. that We, uh, we really love their interior in comparison to boats in this same segment. Uh, so we also have a swim platform, and we do have the seats in on this side to show you. The day on the water with the family, you got a spot for somebody to sit. Or if you're, uh, if the mission is fishing, you also have uh, access to your stern. So if you're netting a fish, you don't have to fumble over that seat. You also have a very large live well here. There's also a live well on this side. Those are also insulated. So if you wanted to pack those full of ice, you certainly could do that and use them as a cooler. Uh, and I know John's uh, getting on the ladder so he can show the inside of the boat, but the, this bilge access here, on this size boat, this is very large bilge access for your batteries. Also a gel coat finish that uh, shows the attention to detail that Seapro has done. Uh, the fit and finish is very high on this boat. And it also makes it a lot easier to keep that clean when it's gel coated. Absolutely. Uh, again, talking about how much value you're getting in this segment of a boat. You have uh, smart craft gauges. This will tell you everything under the sun. You can see miles per gallon, gallons per hour or all that good stuff. I believe this boat also has the Mercury Vessel View Mobile in it as well. So there's a lot of standards in this boat. So for example, this is a Go 7. This is a standard option in this boat. So if you're comparing it to other boats in this same segment, make sure you're looking at the base options and comparing an apples to apples comparison. And you're not just getting a base run of the mill boat that you're just getting a haul with a motor. So this is a lot of upgrades in other manufacturers and this is an upgrade that are all standards on this boat. Also, this Audison stereo is standard as well. This is a high-end stereo system that they offer in this package. You also have hydraulic steering that is power. Uh, I don't know if John can get a picture of the pump, but there is a power hydraulic steering pump in this boat. Also, the acrylic dash, that's usually an upgrade on a lot of manufacturers. Uh, you have the uh, helm pad. This is nice on your feet when you're in rough water. Gives you a little bit of cushion. Actually, it really helps on your back on a day on the water. I really like the done, I don't see, think John can see it from there. There's a battery switch right here. So you don't have to leave it out exposed to the elements or crawl on a bilge. You have quick access to your battery switch. You can literally take the canvas off, hit the battery switch and go and you're on the water moving. Moving up to the front here, we have uh, some bow pads and these also flip up in different positions so that if you wanted to lounge, maybe read a book or what have you, you got different positions, you can do that. They're also removable so you can get them out, get them out of the sun. For, again, this size boat, you have a lot of space up here. You could also take these cushions out and use it as a casting deck. Another thing that's easily overlooked is they actually lock the anchor down in here. It's not bouncing around where it's going to damage the boat, so it is locked in place. They also have a nice rubber-coated anchor in there, so it's not scratching up the, the gel coat that's finished off in there. Another bilge access here. We have three battery trays, and there is a spot for a trolling motor. That tells me you could put up to a 36-volt trolling motor on this boat. I think a 24 would do you, but if you wanted a 36, it's already ready to go. Again, lots of storage in here, and you also have storage under each one of these. Uh, anything I'm missing on this boat, John? Well, I think you covered it. Bimini top. We got a bimini top as well. There you go. We have this one and many more at clemensboats.com, and uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook.